Oh shit! It's cold outside! How are you doing, people? Ohio is getting slammed with a snowstorm right now. Not the most fun in the world, but you know what? We're dealing with it. I am right now, or at least I was, sipping on some chai spice black tea with blue agave sweetener and milk. Oh my god, I know. I'm a hippie. I sound like a fucking hippie. I'm really not. But dude, I cannot lie. I cannot tell a lie. It tastes like Christmas in a fucking cup. It's delicious. So you know what? Fuck your opinions. I fucking love it. Anyway, today we're going to talk about climate change. And I'm going to link an article that I found below. This is the day of the week, Thursday, where I find a news article and I decide to talk about it. And we'll try and come to some rational conclusions here. Because climate change is such a silly debate, man. People get so fucking pissed off about it. And they, they have all these politics behind it as well. I mean, you see the, the Republican Party, they say, okay, well, the Earth is just naturally heating up. And then the Democrats are saying, no, it's the greenhouse gases, and it's us pouring gasoline into the air and burning up the ozone. And it's, it's, it's become more of a Democrat versus Republican issue than it has about, hey, guys, guess what? We're on a blue fucking rock filled with water, and guess what? That water is getting, you know, fucking bigger. The ice caps are melting, and on top of that, the Earth is heating up. So what do we do? How do we fix it? I don't care if you're in China, I don't care if you're in Russia, I don't care if you're in Canada, South America, Ethiopia, the Earth is getting hotter, and we're getting more and more water. Venice is sinking, and it's not sinking because the city's going down, it's because the water's going up. And I, you can see this, it's not like, oh, well, you just read that from some shitty news source. Vice did a documentary where they're walking through the street, well, the, the initial street, and there's just water everywhere that was never there. People have to set up planks so they can get to where they need to be before they hop on their boats. And... It is so nutty to me to hear this stupid political debate where you turn on MSNBC and they have their viewpoint, then Fox News has their viewpoint, then CNN does whatever the fuck they want to swing on. It's, it's nuts. What I think needs to happen, and I think we can all agree here, is fuck the reason that it's happening, right? If we really can't come to a consensus on, on why the Earth is heating up, then how about we say, okay, the Earth is heating up and we're getting more and more water. Guess what that's going to do? That's going to destroy the coastal cities, which is billions and billions, maybe even trillions of dollars in revenue. Society is going to really fucking suck if we use New York, Miami, you know, all of the coastal cities across the fucking world. Those are all going to be gone if water keeps rising. So these water levels are a big concern. And the fact that it's people just don't give a fuck, they, it, it blows my mind that it's become a Democrat versus Republican thing. I don't understand why people can't say, all right, this is an issue. Why don't we get the brightest minds of today, the biggest, baddest, you know, most ruthless scientists to come in and be like, okay, here's the game plan. All right, a thousand of us just got together. We're the best in our fields. And this is the solution to the problem. This is how we're going to tackle this issue. But no, we don't do that. And a prime example of a real failure for the global community to come together, because that's really what it is. I mean, you know, we have this really stupid idea of borders, and I think the internet is really just dissolving that idea. Because, you know, you, you, know, you say, oh, well, I'm in the United States, and, you know, fuck the Russians. And, then, you know, the Russians hate the people in the United States. Look, on, on, a, on a real note, I'm probably the same as the average Russian dude. Me and him feel the same emotions. He might have a different belief system than me. But you know what? I'm sure because of the fact that we're just human beings, we can relate on a lot of levels without that language barrier. So, you know, if we decide to do nothing, it's, it's really just a failure of social evolution. You know, technology is rising exponentially in what we're capable of doing. But socially, it's it's like people are still, you know, barely a step ahead of the 19 fucking 50s. I, I don't understand. There's still racism. There's still sexism. That still exists. It's it's 2014, people. Why does that even have to be a reality? But the Internet seems to be dissolving that. And that's awesome because you have people from all over the world sharing knowledge. I mean, I know one of you guys commented you're from China and, you know, one of you guys was from the United Arab Emirates. And that's so cool to see. So the internet is doing a great job, even if there can be some anonymous fuckery where people are screaming at each other. So, you know, people need to wake up. And if you think that we're somehow going to survive this crazy climate change, let me just tell you that the human race can only operate in a very specific set of circumstances. And that means that if the temperature gets too hot, that's it. We're done. 
human beings cannot exist on this rock anymore if the temperature gets too fucking hot. On top of that, on top of that, I watched this documentary a long time ago. I think National Geographic did it, where, you know, back in the day, we used to have these huge animals, you know, dinosaurs, T-Rexes, and, you know, you heard of the Megalodon, that basically great white shark on steroids. It could fit a punch buggy in its mouth. I mean, the thing was gigantic. The reason that those animals were so big is because the earth was very hot. It was incredibly hot. And the part of the reason why those animals went extinct, apart from the comet that hit the earth, is because the temperature cooled down. The Megalodon could not exist on the earth anymore because the temperatures got too cold. So because of the fact that the earth is heating up, that means that we're going to see these big fucking animals again. I know that, you know, the idea of like a super snake is, is coming back into reality. They say within, you know, 20 to 30 years, we're going to have these huge anacondas. I could be completely full of shit, but I do remember reading that somewhere. The internet is filled with craziness, so I could be wrong on that, but I don't know. Anyway, it's a problem, and it needs to be fixed, and I'm not smart enough to, to fix it. I know that probably most of you guys, there's only like 0.01% of you that has proper knowledge on how to get through this issue, but even if, you know, we can all acknowledge that the Earth is warming up, we gotta do something about it. I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, Tea Party, I don't care if you're an anarchist. But we gotta fix this, because we live on this rock together. And we are fa very quickly coming to the realization that it's becoming overpopulated and it's getting hot. So what do we do? And borders and political affiliations seem to be really hindering that progress. I'm all for government. I'm not an anarchist. But I do realize a problem when I see one. And a, a, a great example of a social decay and a real failure to act is Fukushima. Fukushima is probably one of the worst tragedies to ever hit human history, and I did not see the global community come together to fix it. Did you? I didn't see it. United States, yo, we're in Japan's backyard. W what are we doing? Why isn't the UN gathering, you know, a council of nations and saying, okay, worst disaster ever. How are we going to do this? How are we going to fix this? How are we going to make sure that a vast majority of the population of Japan, America, Alaska, Canada doesn't get cancer? But, you know, at the same time, you know, you see the Homeland Security, they just bought 14, or 14 million bottles of potassium iodide, which is how you kind of block cancer from getting into your system when you take that. So it's, it's really weird to me that it still exists, and it seems like, you know, maybe I'm just too future thinking forward, if that makes any sense. I don't even know if that made any sense, but you get the idea, and I think most of you guys can agree with me that we need to fix this, and if we don't, we're in trouble. And, you know, the bill's on us. We can't go through the next hundred years and ignore this problem. You know, the bill is here and we got to pay. So how are we going to do it? What are we going to do? I don't have any answers, but I do see a problem. And I hope we can come to a solution. But you know what? It's all good. We're going to keep producing content. We're going to keep putting more shit out there. And you know what? We should just enjoy our stay and have a good time. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any solution. It's just it's exhausting to talk about Anyways, I'm out. I love you fucking people. We got a live commentary coming up next because, you know, that's how we roll. High roller baller status. I love all of you people. Take it easy. Peace.